All right, we're back with uh, Disco Elysium. The game that I has a certain level of dread. I Sunday friend. Oh, that's right. We're in the we're in this apartment. Problem with this, if if we leave, that's it. There's no more. Uh, I mean, this person is gone. Was there anything else? Mm, is there anything else? Oh, that's right. Yes, that's right. We've read all, all this in the previous playthrough. It's a setup. We know it's a setup. Yeah, everyone in the neighborhood know it's some sort of... There's stuff happening. I like how I'm just shining my torch at him. Like a interview interrogation. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that, should I? Whoops. Littering. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, so we don't want to say too much. I, ne I nearly, I think I nearly messed it up. I hope I didn't. Hang on, hang on. Let me just get back. Was to that there quickly. anything else? Yeah, hypothetically. Okay, let's go. Okay. What is this? Plus one logic. So wearing a conical hat gives you plus one logic. I don't think I'll be wearing that out of a certain uh, principle. It doesn't. It doesn't seem right. I know that this person seems to be collecting that sort of stuff, but uh, outside, just running around wearing that, it's just. I don't want to get into it. Don't want to. I know this game has a lot of uh, social commentary, but I'll let the game talk about it rather than me. I I might put some highlight on it. That's it for that. Have I got my? Okay, good. All right, we're going back. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Uh, we gotta do that one. Confront Hardy Boys, the jam. Okay, we can do that. Perform it, uh, can't do that yet. I think I get. I don't know when I can do that. Wait, what does it say? Hmm. Can't do that yet. Yo, Koznav. Yes. The clueless, clueless man is back at it. Clueless detective man. Welcome. I'm glad you uh, can catch my stream of this. I think you wanted, you also wanted to watch this last time, right? I think you watched a bit of it. Okay, cool. <laughs> that is good. Good to hear. I've been wanting to make a bit of progress in the stream. It's not going to be a long one. I reckon maybe an hour our length because this game is uh whew, there's stuff like i struggle to keep up with sometimes uh okay there's so many things to keep track okay we can do that but i can't like stay away from it too long otherwise 
the, the entire game is just going to be a blur in my mind. Just faded, faded away. Okay, I'm a piece. Processing. Uh, that's a timing thing. Order lock timing thing. Tattoos. By fine traffic hooligan. Joyce lynching. Explore willing. Okay. Um, we can still go investigate that other place. Hang on, hang on. What about that mysterious dude? That was good. Cool, cool. Uh. Oh, okay. I can try to readjust the quality. I'll try to. I can bring it down a little bit more. Uh, let's see. I'll try to bring it down to. 3,300. Hopefully, that might be alright. Something, something ain't quite right. I, d I don't know what's going on here. People say commercial. Okay, so that's the that's the Doom commercial area. DCA. I thought it would just be Curse commercial area. That's what she thinks, but I guess we can't call it that. Because that's illogical. Uh, okay, so that's the drug stuff. So, am I missing... I, I feel like I'm missing a quest. I don't know what, though. Yeah, unfortunately, I... Um, like, I set it... I set my stream to 720. But the bitrate, I set it to... I normally have it 3,500. I've just set it down to 3,300. Uh, because with games like this, it might not need, you know... A big amount of uh, quality. And hopefully it would look alright for you. Maybe someday I might become affiliate and get that quality setting. So you can adjust it on your side. That'll be good. Oh, well, since we're here, maybe we can talk to Joyce and she can... Uh, talk to us about some You're stuff. Back. Good. What can she I help you with? Uh, Not an umbrella, I hope. I don't need one myself, you see. She pats a wet coat. I could use a coat like that. The rain is freezing. Sadly, I need this one for myself. It's hydrophobic, repels water almost magically. A company makes them for offshore platform personnel. Very sturdy. I'm not going to read everything out. Uh... Okay, we'll get into the plot stuff. Task complete, 70 XP's. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? Wait. Where exactly are those eyes located? Oh, really? Ah, oh, interesting. Oh. Hi, uh, Headcase. Thank you. Thank you for the lurk. I hope you're doing well. Welcome. Um, yeah. I don't know how people do that then, if, if they don't have affiliate. They partnered, maybe? Hmm, interesting. I wonder if it's a setting thing. Because I've, I've looked back to my stream. I've been streaming for three years now, roughly. Three years. And I, I don't think I've ever had that option. But... I've only been like average. Oh, thank you for the host, Cosnaf. Appreciate it. Maybe because I don't stream for long enough. Like, what? What am I averaging? An hour and a half or something? I try to stream every day, but sometimes I don't because I'm just I don't know. I just don't feel like it, and I miss out five days of it. Just take some time out. Now let's get back into this. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word effect. Wait, where exactly are those eyes located? It doesn't really matter, and I do apologize for the surveillance. Wild Pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. So she's spying us. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask, will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. I feel like I'm... I don't know, there's like two sides to this, right? You've got the union and then you've got the corporate. 
But f for some crazy reason, corporate seems the most reasonable people. Maybe because they're not, you know, involved in such horrific murder case. But you don't know. Of course, detectives, she says, uh, her tone more cautious suddenly. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. I won't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands that if you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have bloodbath on our hands. See, I'm trying to prevent bloodbath, so we're on the same page here. But hold up, hang on. Hmm. What the? Would there be a uh, assuming discovered there is an operation? If there is investing in a of you. Did we just indirectly tell her yes? There is Because I assume you discovered there is an operation. So there is a drug drug running operation with the lorry uh drivers, right? That's what we're looking into it for her. But did we just indirectly tell her, yes, there is? If there is an investigative part of an ongoing operation. Subject of confusion, I'm sure you understand. Mm. The words bloodbath sound cold in her mouth. They taste of iron and strawberries. St iron and strawberries. You said contain the situation. I've already heard about connection between the lynching and the strike, but I need your testimony. Mm, you say, mm. yes, I'm afraid the strike may descend into a small scale civil war with possible consequences for all Revishore West. Since you're sharing, ma'am, this is also the RCM's worst case scenario. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. I wonder if corporate is somehow manipulating the union to do all this to take down the union maybe I don't know there's still so many un unknowns like I'm making a lot of speculations uh, I have an indirect role to play I'm sad to say my employer experienced a moment momentary lapse of faith in me in that moment they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure they called it my security detail. What the? Is that military contractor the guy who got lynched? I, th I think we talked about that. I've forgotten. They will dispatch after I relate the union's initial offer. Every worker? A member of the board. She nods. What the? I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric or a joke. They did not appreciate the humor. What? I don't understand that bit. Every worker. So the union did offer something for the corporate. Uh, I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric or a joke. They did not appreciate the humor. So they, the, the corporate people didn't like what she came back with? Do you need security detail? Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the union into surrendering. Who are they exactly? Creno, an Orangies, Orangies military company. As far as I know, these uh, three arrived in Martinez. They reported to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. Hmm. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons, and years of combat experience. They also have trauma and stress of disorder, and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. So that's their version of PTSD. Is they just call it trauma and stress of disorder. So what happened? The story is one of them, the Colonel. I don't know his real name. Uh, okay. That's part of the case, but if I'm not mistaken, I don't know why I raised my finger there because no one can see that. Be that was all set up. 
while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. Okay, so that's the story. He was taken out behind the whirling in ranks and lynched last Sunday night. What then? Nothing. Mr. Clare refused to let me into the harbour. I have not been able to discuss the matter with anyone. The remaining two Crenel contractors carry out their order for now. Hang on. Oh, oh no. It's going to be... It's... Oh, great. It's going to be noisy here. Alright, so that's the name of the military company. So it's a private military organization. Uh... It's a smokescreen in secret. They are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all the Union militants. Holy freak. So, what? Now they become mercenaries, assassins. You've made a mess here. I have to say, this is not disco. This is not disco, dude. Um, maybe the investigations can team up. You know, share resources and intelligence. Boy, oh boy, is that not good. If we team up with the mili- With the- Not militants. Like, who's- Like, us investigating with the- uh, The private- Military groups? Mm, maybe we can try that. Surely you're joking. These people are killers. My only hope is that yours, yours provide a single concrete suspect before they indiscriminately pick their. Simply put, she grabs hold of the main cell. All right, I was hoping that maybe I could, you know, get some info and not actually work with them, but I don't think it works that way. If you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they will identify and secure everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the union to respond. The Debordeurs have over 2,000 men. It will be a thousand to one. Have you seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? She leans back. It's not pretty. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle loaded weapons, even yours. Most Union workers don't have guns at all. She is silent for a moment, then conclude. As I said, a bloodbath. Uh, I can't see it happen. Too many things would have to go wrong first. Isn't isn't this a pretty bleak scenario you describe? I think the confrontation confrontation is inevitable. Many bleak scenarios have already come true. She looks at you. I stand from the wind. Nameless, badgeless detective of the citizen militia. Citizens militia. All we can do is to keep the rest from going the same way. One single concrete suspect delivered into the civil court and I may be able to defuse the situation. So we've got a problem here. Uh, there might be, as you say, a bloodbath, unfortunately. What can you tell me about Crenel? Not much. Their public re resume is relatively good as far as private military contracts go. I believe they were once called Downwell. They boast a long list of clients, St. Bastiste, Welshman Gorloritz. Indract. Indract. A warning sign, however, the operations concern all take place in third or fourth world countries, guarding facilities, escort missions and such, meaning they're used to operating in war zones. Yes, all the good conflict corridors. Supramundi, yes, suit the Seminese Islands. Countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Okay, anything else got for them? You got sadly no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. She thinks. If you still have access to ICP database, you could turn a better background check than I ever could. It may take some time, though. She thinks. Do you know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, ma'am? In my line of work, it pays to do your research. I was. Pre prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I would be dealing with a group like Creno. Will you contact the company? Tell them to call them off? Mm. I have, uh, and they will. However, these orders take time to reach. 
what is basically a rogue unit out in the field here until they do it's all on us. What the heck? How does that work? She's being truthful. She's pressing them as hard as she can. So bureaucracy, bureaucracy, red tape is holding things up. Uh, you said deceased assaulted a woman. Or he didn't. She tilts her head. This information passed onto me from teenagers loitering around the canals. I cannot testify this. Hold up. What did the passing on then? Who did the passing on? Is it... Uh, uh, what's his name? The kid that just keeps on insulting us. The kids. The remaining contractors. Their tribunal. It's what they believe. What the... What did these tears say? Uh, that the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. This does not come as a news to. But still, uh, he exchanged a glance with you. To your knowledge, where did the assault took place? If you know this assault. Last Sunday night at the warring in Rags. The hostel by the gate. Supposedly Colonel was drunk. Maybe on narcotics too. Either way, he's alleged to have assaulted a woman and sometimes later a group of dog workers got their hands on him i know the woman you're talking about don't mention it and who see we're not we don't want to review too much i think i've i've reviewed way too much of everyone already and who was this woman we gotta be careful now because i'm like blindly mashing the, the options that's a good question officer i don't have the slightest idea as i said it's a rumor about a rumor in any case it's what the colonel's remaining colleague believe. So hold up. We've got two other assassins running around. Is that right? Is that what's happening? And they're trying to get rid of evidence? No, wait. They're trying to get rid of the uh, unions. The colonel, the one who was hanged, do you know him? If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes, but I did not know him. His name was Lele. His service name, Anom de Guer. I cannot pronounce it. Most likely, he wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. What the? Tell me about the others first. One is a man, Corti. They call him a nickname as well. The other woman, Phyllis de Pal Pal Pal. Corti is the gunner, I believe. De Pal is the radio operator. The lieutenant cuts in. What would you say was his eye color? The deceased. She closes her eye, trying to picture a man's face, then shakes her head. We've got a lot to get through. I can't remember. There's a pang of regret to her voice. The lieutenant was testing her, asking a small detail first to see if she knew him better than she let on. She passed. That's all right, ma'am. Anything else? Nationality? What, what would you say was his age? He was 40 or 50. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age or gauge his facial expression. I'm going to get 5 XP for that. This matches the dental reconstruction we saw in the body. And Clay's... Clay's I forgot how to pronounce the name. Cla Clay... 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 Class... Clay... Also mentioned it, I believe. Uh, he says to you, then turns back to Joyce. What else? Nationality, uh, accent. Hold up, Kim. You just mentioned <laughs> the woman that was uh, supposedly, you know, uh, in in that situation. He was occidental, I think. Light brown hair, mixed accent, orange. Orange C or Mizinian, Mizinian maybe? His injury gave him an accent all his own. In a way, it was humanizing. He had, a stern to sp he had to learn to speak though, through it, through the injury. She nods. That's all I know, I guess. I only met him once. Wow, there's a lot to get through. Where are the two remaining mercs? They're gone to ground as it were i don't recommend seeking them out she puts her foot on the guard wire for balance for one they're almost certainly armed to the teeth they don't have the same respect for the ravishal citizen militia as i do to put it bluntly they think you're a vigilantes 
ghetto savages. Wow. It will not be fruitful meeting. Mm. We still need to know where they are. We'll, we'll confront them directly. You'll likely run into them eventually. What? When that happens, I'll be in better position to mediate if I don't appear involved. Whoa. Where are these mercenaries? It cannot be retried. No, we'll, we'll still clear for the moment. I mean, even though it looks like I get a good dice roll to get the info, but do I really want that info? And that's, um, that's the thing about this game. Not all the time you want everything. I mean, I don't think you're, I don't know if it really matters. It might. Later on, at this time, I don't feel like I'm confident enough to talk to them. Talk to them. Like, they probably have crazy high-level skills, right? Compared to my character. How much time do we have? Until the ex execution start? Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress. Identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. They don't report their progress to you? Not on this matter, I'm afraid. They consider this a personal initiative. There is a brief silence. Seagulls squat over the bay. It's a matter of days, not weeks. So we might have what? Two? Two days? Three days? Oh, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, uh, I'm sorry to have been bare of bad news. If there's anything else I can help you with, please, please ask. So we can ask about the, uh, the tattoos. Of course, excuse my hesitation before. She reaches over the guard wire and takes the photo, holds it in her hand for half a minute in silence. It is taken with a trigat not long ago. This is, man this is the man's upper body. There were no more markings on his hands or legs. Stay quiet, observe the expression. Her mouth is relaxed. Uh, the accordion lines near her mouth vanish. The pearls of her eyes move slowly onto the photo surface. Relax. Sorry, she breaks her concentration. I was trying to see if I can read the web of in the interdependencies between these points. The stars. She points to uh, one on the photo paper. I can't, but... That's how you read the story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. The size, location of the body, and the distance from each other tells you what they represent. Like blooms in a pattern. 5 XP's. Close, you nods. Port cities. This is Orinne's map of the waterway. So it's a map. At first I thought it might be... Uh, stars. Navigational stars. Not navigation. People use it to navigate. And she does sell a boat. So I thought maybe she knew about that. A sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the DeLorean century over 300 years ago. The sailors will mark their bodies to the, to map their travels. Sort of close. So sort of close. Oh man. There's a, a quite a bit. The sailors sold would use it to fly back home if they should die abroad. This is sort of a contraption to be reeled back in by the silver cord, they would call it. Okay. Where's, where's he now? This one's going nowhere but the morgue. Nowhere. There is no soul. Hmm. I don't know. How would you answer this? Empire without an emperor. Emperor. An empire without... An empire without an emperor. Is that right? I don't think that's... Uh, I don't think that's quite right. What? I think it's trying to say that... Uh, an empire without an emperor is soulless? Is that what it is? Or is that person... The body of a person is their empire and their soul is the emperor. Or maybe I'm not understanding it quite right. 
Uh, what trucks did a man make? Quite a few. Redefort, the Orangese capital, traditionally stands on the right shoulder. She points to it on the photo. He started somewhere near there, near here, I think. What next? Then he made his way to the Preto Grande, Grand, through what I think must be Stats Canal, Stats Canal. Uh, an artificial channel through the Occident. Look, I'm very, I'm so afraid of mispronouncing words or saying it in. I know I've mispronounced a dozen of them, or hundreds. I just don't want to say like a rude word by accident, which can happen. From the Preto, he sailed to the Islundi Ocean. Islundi Ocean. First the Seminese Islands, then this. She points to the heart, to his heart. What is that? Ravishow, she says. Those are the two con constants. Redford on the shoulder and Ravishow in the heart. They start in the tradition of these maps right after the discovery of Insulindi. At the dawn of the in interisolary age. The old, old world passing by and the new, new world already here. You said you can't read it. Hmm... Uh, I can't. This man was no sailor, and these are no ports. I can understand geographic fragments, but not their meaning. What the? Who could tell me more? His platoon members, the other contractors, though I do not suggest you go and show them that picture. This man was their friend and comrade. You shouldn't even know where to start. You wouldn't even know where to start. That's all for the tattoos. Thank you for your help. She hands them back. Hands you back the photo. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you. That's all for now. Well, that how long that take? Thirty minutes. Wow. All right. Let's keep going. All right. We can still investigate the the mysterious building. You know, I uploaded this to my YouTube channel, right? Unedited, the previous playthrough. And some of it, I think quite a, a few of the episodes have been copyright claimed <laughs> because of this music, I think. Not that I uh, put... Oh, he's still here. He's still here. Kuno, that's it. Now we've got two places we can go. We can talk to the Hardy Boys, or we can go back to that mysterious place. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't think it's been. Um, I don't think the video has been completely closed off, which is good. Uh, I better save this. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think it auto-detected the music and yeah, it's copyrighted stuff, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, well, she got the bad, but I don't want to deal with that just yet. Oh, thank you for the uh, raid, Suspense. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Suspense. Yeah, so they, I think, Whoever's uh, copyright claimed it can monetize it. I'm not monetized. I don't believe I've monetized any of my videos. Hey, Suspense, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, I just spent like 30 minutes in, in a long dialogue. But we're progressing, which is, the, which is a good thing. Yeah, I know. That's what scares me. If they take it down, that's, that's terrible. Um, so maybe I, sh I need to turn down the music, but I think the music is pretty low already, right? I think, I thought the sound of the rain and me talking would, in you know, would not make it a problem, but apparently it is a problem. Maybe they don't, I don't know if they've got, like some games, some developers have, um, well, I don't know what you call it, but you can, you can. You can check the page. The page will say yes. You can freely uh, stream or make playthrough of our games. Uh, there will not be any copyright claim on it. 
you can even some someone will say you can even monetize them right i don't know if the comp this company lets you do that though but there's some games that lets you do it and they say oh if anyone copyrights claim you uh please send us an email um so hang on a second did i Jam mystery. All right, have report have reported to Joyce about jam mystery. I gotta clear out some of these safe files. It's just going crazy now. Have spoken to Joyce about jam. All right, let's now we're gonna try to do this weird quest this mysterious room I don't think this is part of the main quest line but it is quite mysterious nonetheless uh, how do I even get in there I guess we can't even get in there unless you can auto walk in there yes you can good two rusty rifles are hidden above the piping they look inoperable someone has stuck some busted guns beneath the ceiling why are there weapons in here Ooh. what is this a hole in the wall a few bricks have fallen off revealing compartment behind the wall it's too dark to see uh in oh i do have a torchlight oh there we go uh look oh uh, look around in the secret room do that one there is yes and there is also appears to be something inside the hole interesting do you want to take a look uh okay i do look inside your hands reach deep in the darkness spider webs rummaging around you find rusty rifles hidden away rifles kim inspect rifles most of them are rusty and inoperable like the rest, but one catches your eye. A bolt action model with fine wood stock in better cosmetic order than others. This one's looks not this one looks nice. So we've got a rifle now. What the An old Bell Margrave from the Revolution, the Lieutenant notes with approval, his eyes are gleaming. Seems to be seems to no longer be functional, but still a beautiful thing in its own way. Could the murder weapon we're looking for be similar? It's the same type of weapon, yes. A breech loader. An interesting coincidence that we should find. Huh. Where are we? Look around secret room. Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Look at all those, those rifles, he points up. In the rifles on the ceiling. Must be an old weapons cache. What does this mean? A rifle here. It means there are firearms, breech loaders, still lying around Martinez. This could prove useful in our case against Ruby for Titus. Men are easily swayed by the sight of a rifle. Mm, good point. It's, it's, uh, viable point, I guess. Ruby for Titus. He likes this fine leave. All right, let's go back to the other weird room because this is another big room that I don't remember how to get back. There's a bear there. Oh, I think it's up here. We'll, we'll get back to that in a bit. Because there's something more upstairs. Alright, so there's like a mysterious wall of... This room, right? It's very strange. It's got like a game board and their version of... Like a... It's not an MMO, but it's a multiplayer game that is played through phone. Yo, head case. <laughs> um, and they've got like designs and stuff like, but it's very strange. Uh, it seems to. I don't know if someone's taking the games very seriously or something like that, but it seems to intersect with the real world, and there's still someone on the phone. So I don't know if I do this. Let's just save this. Um, I'm like in this game, I just save like mad 
it's just a lot of saving. Um, before the uh, phone call game. All right. All right, her voice sounds 100 years old, so we've just activated this device. Good evening, Fortress Accident on Rue de Saint Gilles Lane. <laughs> this is East Islundian Repeater Station 1. All right, so if we do this, it's gonna, she's gonna say, look, I can't continue until you give me the code, because I did try this before. Uh, what's the production schedule? The filament you have inserted into the reader. Because I found this tape and installed a tape or data device, whatever it is, into this weird thing. You mean that glowing thing I just put inside? Alright, thanks for the explanation. That was a question. Have you inserted it in the core? Yes. Good. Please repeat the password. Password, of course, it would have to have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. You should ask her for a hint. A password? I'm really bad at password. Can you give me a hint? Mm. This is the police. Please open this thing. If we say this, I wonder, right, if there is some nefarious organization or drug runners who are using this phone line uh, for their purpose, because it's like a hidden phone line or something on that, or channel, or whatever they call it, to do their uh, nefarious activities. So if we say, this is the police, will they, w w would it like, you know, uh, alert them of our activities, uh, I mean, of, <laughs> of our investigation? Do that. No. Um, yeah, let's do it. I don't know. Let's do it. The voice uh, recites, I'm contractually obligated to protect the privacy filament holders fortress accident without f filing a warrant with Lintel. I cannot give you access to this filament. I'm afraid we're not doing that unless we wait. We want to wait for a month. Now, can you please read password? The voice the machine again. She sounds cold in the damp air. I don't know the password. Receive, I will register this login attempt. Don't worry, password have a way of turning up sooner or later. So, they've registered that we've attempted the login. I wonder if I can do this. We can remove the schedule as well. So is there, it doesn't come up as a, yeah, it doesn't come up as a quest. Maybe I, sh I don't want to do that. All right. I don't want to, you know, register, have them register that I attempted to call them. I'm just paranoid. They're like, oh, this person tried to try to break in and didn't have, didn't have the password. I'm hoping we don't have to trigger that event that we don't have the password to get the password. Like we can find the password, come back, do the phone call. I'm hoping, but I could be wrong. I think I've done all I can in this room. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, if you want to, you can check out my previous playthrough of me doing this room. Um, no, we don't need cash because I've... I've edited it and gave myself cash because I don't like mucking about with cash in this game. Uh, I can rant about that all day long as well, but not in this session. All right, I don't think there's anything else in here. I've read all that stuff already, I believe. Uh, that goes to another room, because there's another room up here, I think. We still have to investigate the so-called, I don't know, ghosts somewhere. All right, this, this is another room we're supposed to go through. Nine safety curtain curves before your eyes, followed, folded like a bellows. Like a bellows, it covers half the room, blocking the way into the colossal industrial chimney. This is where that, uh, this must be where the entity lives. Yeah, that's right. Not gonna. All right. Word of warning, uh, for those that haven't seen most of my, uh, stream of this, this game. 
there was one or two parts of this game where there is this loud screeching sound. Like, I was playing, I don't know, in the game, I loaded a tape. It was like super loud, like a jump scare loud. Just so you know, I don't know why they do that. It's not meant, I don't know why they have a jump scare loud noise. So this might happen, all right? It might happen, just be prepared. Let's do nothing, no one's home. You get, are you guys ready? There might be nothing, there might be nothing at all. Those curtains prove to be surprisingly sturdy. Your fist hurts now. If this is really an entrance to the chimney, then there must be a furnace somewhere as well. Maybe there's another way to get in. Can, we, can you please try to refrain from attacking random things? I need to find the malignant entity, Kim. This is the chimney. This is not random. This is significant. I want to see what's on the other side. I can try. Why do you think there's necessarily anything on the other side? The lieutenant asked. But you can see a spark of curiosity in his eyes. In any case, there's no way we can get in right now. Let's investigate further. Leave. Alright, we can't get in. Hey, hang on. Oh no, I've got a crow by my hand. I still can't get... Alright, that's fair enough. Why is it a chair right here? What is going on? And boots that we can't interact with. There is cans. What is this? Postcard. Can we sell postcards? Should we be collecting these postcards? Because you can't collect stuff to sell. La Delta 51. Let's have a look. Hmm. A note from the fridge. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of line office paper. Oh no, this is a different thing. The kitchen magnets have less spots on its surface. Does it say anything interesting? Lieutenant leans closer. Read the crumpled note over your shoulder. This is tangi tangentile, tangential, tangentile at best. But Lieutenant's detective instinct is still active. Read the note. Someone has scribbled S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio. So I had to hide it somewhere safe. He's talking about Kuno. Like, uh, you find the film of memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Wait, what? Please take it home ASAP. It's important. I do it myself if I live in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care. Sully... Salus Law. Huh. Hmm. I wonder who wrote the note. I didn't read this last time I picked it up. Looks like someone from that radio game company upstairs. I'm a little surprised they just left their property lying here. Upstairs. We are upstairs. Wait, what? Oh, is there another level? Maybe they had to leave in a hurry. That's a plausible hypothesis. What's a film memory? It's, it belongs inside a radio computer storing its memory. It's like a tape. You listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disco tapes. Only for a computer. There you go. That's the filament thingy. Memory. Yeah, we know who it is, though. Uh... I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice, to the ice bear fridge. Oh, okay. We gotta find the ice cream maker now. Really, Lieutenant looks at you. The corner of his mouth covered in a smug grin. You don't have a single guess. You mean Kuno? <laughs> get five for that. Oh, I'm sure that child would love to get his hands on a filament memory, even if he doesn't know what to do with it. Uh, he probably tried to pawn it off. For speed based on our encounter puts note away. Okay. Then we just pick up what's this? Tattoos. Mega mix. I think that's the thing that had the loud noise. Fracture belt. Here we go. Oh, we can't even look at it. So these are the things we can sell. Yeah.
yeah these are non-interactive stuff this is stuff that you can just pawn off to make money which i don't really care much for all right this is a really spooky area the first time i came here i was like what the heck is this place so i think that's it for this area let, let me just go down just in case because it's a bit of a bit of a weird wait what You got like mannequins and stuff. It's almost maze like. Oh, I was thinking we can still come back here, but I need to do something before he goes to bed. Alright, so this is the hidden gym area. Alright, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go find that fridge. But I want to uh, go back to the apartment, uh, have Kim go to sleep, and then I sneak out. I've never done that before. I don't know if it'll work. And then, and then I can go grab the shoes, the boots, and also maybe uh, there was something else I gotta do as well. I don't quite remember. I realize I do talk a lot in this uh, this game because there's lots of uh, like thinking and reading. Hang on. The wind holes in from the coal chute above. Oh, yeah. There's lots of speculating stuff. Morale. I'll take your magnesium, but I don't need the money. Uh, all right. So that's the that's the bear. We need to find the ice cream maker. The wall collapsed. It's inaccessible now. Ice bear fridge. Bears are still glowing red. Watch your ice cream. Oh yeah, we've done all this. What's a giant bear fridge? Yeah, what is it doing there? Good question. It looks like an ice cream fridge. Uh... So, try to sell ice cream from this hyper carnival. I know, says the lieutenant. What an unfortunate marketing choice. What is even worse, the bears do costing the money to this day. The lieutenant points at the red, snarky, snaky cable running from the fridge. The fridge buzzes with energy. Electricity, electricity bill on this thing must be cat catastrophic. It's interesting, like... There is something weird. Like, why? Why is this in the middle of a place that no one uses? Right? Why? There's something supernatural, and yet not. Which is what sort of appeals to me. Thick layer of coal dust covers the furnace, coloring pitch black. Covering, covering pitch black. Looks like this furnace has a face, and it's a face of agony. Thanks. Thanks. Inland Empire. Kim, what is this thing? It's a furnace. Look, look inside the furnace. Kick it with your foot. Looks like it. Looks like an old central furnace used to heat the building. It's connected to the chimney. He opens the door and gingerly peeks inside. No one has used it in ages. No sign of any recent fire. Only dead rats. Looks inside the furnace. It's dark and grimy here. Uh, in the darkness, you can hear chatter. It's coming from above. A voice or several voices talking to each other near the smoke chamber upstairs. Holy... Is this what that lady was talking about? She says she heard voices coming from... from the walls, right? From the chimney. Oh, it's getting spooky. So it could just be people in the apartment, maybe? Or the building? And sounds is reverberating through the furnace. Could be something else. Uh, the echo is so prominent. It's impossible to discern what the voices are saying. Or what is producing them. What are you doing? The lieutenant asks when he sees you climb halfway inside the furnace. I'm hallucinating. Or maybe it's the entity. I hear the murderer of the hangman talking. I'm not sure, Kim. But I think I can hear someone talking upstairs. Let's go with that. Wait, really? He looks up at the ceiling. Maybe it's coming from behind those safety curtains we saw upstairs. Huh. Hang on. 
Let's leave for a sec. Let's save this. Uh, let's overwrite this now because we don't need that. 2251. Oops. Uh, furnace. Yes. Can we... Oh, we can put on some clothes to improve our chances. Uh, something physical instrument. Let's do that. Ooh, what was I wearing anyway? Drama. Electrochemistry. What is this? Suggestion. Visual calculus. We might need that. Interfacing. Reaction speed. Let's get that going. What? Those pants are no good. I don't know if that'll make a difference. I doubt it. 83%. So it did increase it. We can give it a shot. Let me just say, because there'll, there'll be times where I'll just keep keep doing it. Oh, I've got skill points as well. Hang on. Um, can't quite decide. I normally save it up, and then if if I if I encounter a situation that requires a certain skill set, <laughs> I just purposely just reload it and then increase it. But it might not be a good idea because there's certain places I think it auto rolls. And you might require it to, you know, analyze the area automatically. So it might not be a good idea to do that. Pain threshold. And yeah, we'll leave it for now. I don't want to waste it. All right, let's give it a shot. Whoa. Whoa. That wasn't me. That's scary. That scared me a bit there. Something breaks loose in you. Oh no, that's just my character doing that. A mighty bellow echoes throughout the chimney's depths. The chatter of tiny voices above suddenly cease. Then. So my character's going, Roar! What the? Hello? You hear a woman's voice answer. You've awakened the entity. I summon the ghost of this doomed commercial era. Answer me, spirit. Hello, are you there? Speak to me. Hello? Oh, what? You hear a low rumble upstairs, the sound of a curtain being pulled aside. The lieutenant nods, then points upstairs. After you, officer. Let's not kick it. I'm tempted to do the other choices. Yeah, like, sometimes when you play a certain game, you want to, like, go through all the options to see what you get. But sometimes in a game like this, it's not something you want to do. Um, there were, you know, a few cases where I'm interviewing a, a witness, I think, and she didn't want to say too much. And you could keep pushing it. You can keep pushing the conversation, pushing her. Um, but it's not really, it's not really a good idea because it could cause distress apparently to the character and yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. What am I doing here? Uh, before the curtain. What the? This tray is full of dice, colorful polyhedral dice, hundreds of them. Is she a game designer? For that game? The candy dispenser has been repurposed to contain thousands of dice. What the? Oh, what? Is she that lady on the phone? Hello, I'm Nia. 
A bird-like woman sits on the throne of tools with emerald light shining through her hair. This is a good music. Did you try knocking on my window? I must have missed you. I've been listening to my Milius. She taps on her headphones. So what kind of die are you looking for? Is she a dice maker? Could this be the malicious entity? Perhaps it's wise to go along with this masquerade for now. She's got a direct view to the backyard. You should interrogate her about the lynching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. What do you mean by Milius? You must have confused me. You're confused with someone else. Confu you must have me. You must have me confused with someone else. I have. I haven't knocked on your window. Wait, someone knocked on a window. Yes, Amelia is like a calling station. We need a two-way radio to access one. That's why I have these. She pats the headphones on the table. So she's different from the person that we did try to talk to, and I reloaded. Um, so she's one of the uh, operators. Mostly. They just teach you to swear in different languages. But some of the stations can be quite interesting. I was so absorbed, I must have missed you knocking. What? Hang on, hang on. So, no, she's not a station. She's been listening to the station. She's playing the game? I thought there's multiple stations, there could be. Then how did you get inside? By the south entrance? She you blinks. You know what? It doesn't even matter. What matters is that you're finally here. Let's talk dice. Did you have something specific in mind? Oh, what? The only option is why you ask me about dice. I want to play along, but it doesn't look like we can. I'm a novelty dice maker. Tell me the name of your role-playing system and I'll make the die you need. That's why you're here, yes? Hmm. As she speaks, her bone-like fingers fiddle with a ring. A bones light, but hands strong. Role-playing games? You know the ones made by Fortress Accident? Does that count? Oh, dang it! I'm not wearing the right set of clothes. My stats all messed up. I can't, I can't put on the clothes now because I'm in chat mode. Uh, I hope there's nothing important that I have to decide. If I do, I'll just reload it. Uh, answers. Let's go with the flow. Maybe, I'm not sure. Well, this is partial, sort of going with the flow. How strange. Well, if you're interested, my rate is 10 real per set. Unless you want something really unusual. Oh, we've got enough money. We've got enough money. Take a look around and see if there is any particular stone you want to use. The walls around her are covered with rolls of precious stones and minerals. It is almost look as if the stones and dice are a natural part of the room, growing out of the shelves like stalagmites. This person means you or no one else absolutely no harm. She will answer freely and honestly. It's kind of sad in a way, but I guess she really enjoys what she does. No falsehoods are present. She's a novelty dice maker and doesn't have anything to hide. Ask what you need. Um, let's get to know her, right? Like, you know, we're, we're just gonna sidetrack a bit. How did I become a, uh, how did I become one? It was business decision. I was a regular jewel, jeweler at first, but that's an unfocused field with too much competition. Some of my friends were role players. Uh, they asked me to make some polyhedral dice out of cobalt. That was my first order. I grew it from there. 
Do you like role-playing games yourself? Not specifically. Not especially. I like working with rare materials and a steady pay. And role players as customers. They're nice people. Some of those nice people have big bucks to spend on novelty items. True. She's thankful the security they provide her. Hmm. Uh, we can order some dye. But... Before we go straight into that, hey, where are we anyway? What is this place? Look around the room. We're inside the chimney of an old central furnace. It's strange, I know. She looks at the ruddy bricks that make up the walls. Even though they've been repainted, there are still signs of coal black soot here and there. But when I arrived here, all the other rooms were taken. So I had to build myself a makeshift home. Besides, I don't really have to pay any rent here. So that's a plus. <laughs> Somehow she managed to live in the uh, furnace area. It's even got a window. That's pretty, uh, pretty cool. But I don't know how healthy that is. Plaisance was right. There is an entity living in the chimney. You should ask her about the curse. Creative, the lieutenant looks around the spacious room. Its ceiling fading into the shadows above. Right, let's ask this one. Uh, as I ask, do you know what happened to the other tenants? Everyone else is gone. More or less, she adjusts her yellow scarf that covers her hair. Are you interested in anyone specific? Oh, what? Look at all this. Oh, quite a lot of them spring to mind. What? There is a lot of stuff. Like I... This is one of the mystery or side mystery that I'm sort of intrigued by. But given that we don't have a lot of time, I'll come back to this later on. We sort of have to move forward. Oh, maybe I'll just pick one. Let's just pick one. Um... Rollerblades and skis. I found a strange machine. Maybe two. Fortress accident. The radio game studio. She closes her eyes as some remnant of memory lights up her face. She liked them. They were an interesting bunch. We talk about role playing systems every now and then. Once I even saw two of them get into a fisticuffs over Wuro. They certainly look like they took their work very seriously. Even though they seem to chronically liberal chronically liberal with their schedules what do you mean liberal what happened the usual they ran out of money and couldn't get the project done on time what went wrong well i did hear them talking at times she looks at the hallway as if she can hear the chit chat behind her curtains on cigarette break they seem to believe there were historical individuals on some grand quest She sounds almost mocking when she says that. From what I've seen so far, the project did look quite impressive. Really? Uh, yes, but when the money started to run out, they just began to complain a lot about capitalism. You know, how the markets are rigged to keep out new businesses and so on. In the end, they just didn't get it done. They didn't have enough willpower to produce something truly historic and to show up to work on time. She's right. Showing up to work on time is important. Uh. Well, showing up for work on time is incredibly hard. You're right. They, sh they should have tried harder. They had everything needed to succeed. Oh, I don't know about that. I would have supported them. The pretty look great. Let's go with that. Still, not everyone's going to make it. She tosses a pair of dice on the table. One of them stops near the edge of the metallic desk. That's the nature of the game. It's interesting. There's, there's all, almost something like otherworldly uh, with some of these characters, you know? Um, she's still 
you know, a human. But the way that she goes about doing her work makes it look like she is some sort of entity in a way that deals with probability. I don't know. The result is one on the 20 sided die. Thank you, Perception. <laughs> the dice is black and filled with little silvery flakes like snowfall. Anything else? Uh, let's try that one. Oh, right. She rubs her forehead. Her scarf has left a faint line on her dusky skin. I hope you didn't try to ring me. I think those none of those doorbells work, including mine. Uh, I'm still in the middle of connecting the wires. Sorry about the confusion. The doorbell with the empty name card must belong to her then. Uh... Wow. Holy moly, there's eight. Yeah, this did happen to me. I remember that. It's weird. It's like I called back in time. Maybe. Talking to his ex-lover? That's not that interesting. Yeah, and then this thing as well. Is it part of the same building complex? Because there's like a door that I can't go through in the whirling in rags. There's so many weird... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not synchronicity. Maybe it is. That's right, I haven't even written my name there. As I said, it's quite useless right now. It doesn't work yet. All of this. You could say so. Both houses were built at the same time under the East Delta Commerce Center project. That explains why you can call the whirling from the intercom. A bit I doubt that anyone responds. If the whirling is part of the same building, then it's part of the Doom commercial area. The darkness of this place is here too. Is there too. Huh. She looks like she doesn't really believe you. It can't be true. They don't work here anymore. They've been gone for years. Are you sure it was Slipstream SCA? Was it a woman? Maybe it was Plaisance from the book bookstore. Ah. First, it wasn't Plaisance. I know her and would have recognized her voice. She said she was from Tricentennial Electrics. Tricentennial Electrics? There's a moment before she recognizes the name. It used to be a major electric company 100 years ago. Are you sure it wasn't just some kids playing a prank on you? What? No, it was something else. It was eerie. It was too real to be just a prank. Either we're dealing with a professional actress or... Rare electrical anomaly. What sort of rare electrical anomaly? Time traveling one? Pranks can be eerie. She looks as if she's still uh, convinced it's nothing to be worried about. The kids these days, she shakes her head. We were just one of them. And now they're terrorizing us. No solidarity. True. Uh, Alright, let's just skip that. I, I've gone through quite a few things. Uh, we can come back to this later on. I hope we can. Um... Oh, let's ask her about this. I've heard the story, she nods, uh, as the wind howls in from the furnace shaft above, but I don't think those stories are true. Wait, how do you explain what happened to those companies then? Let's, uh, do that. It's just capitalism, she shrugs. We only hear, uh, we only hear about tales of success, so it's often surprising to realize how many ventures actually fell. Hm, good point. Place on the one that sent me, she convinced me. Convinced that the place is swarming with malicious energy. Paison, she, the bookstore lady, she raises, raises her eyebrows. I've heard that her business is doing rather well. Have energy spared her somehow? What? Yeah, she has to explore her own door to keep the company going. I don't know why the bookstore hasn't gone bankrupt yet. That's why I'm here to investigate. Mm. 
All right, but it's not just the bookstore that's still up and running. What about the Warring Rags? Some people say it's part of the building complex, but it's still a separate building. The militia and you can't reach there. No, Warring Rags is, isn't doing well either. Its waitress just took off and customers have trouble paying bills. Hmm. Troubles paying bills. Really? You're right, the world doesn't look like it's cursed. And then there's me, she sighs, looking at a messy work table. All kind of tools lie there scattered from knives to carving fly flies to wire cutters. I've been here for 14 years selling novelty dice to role-playing enthusiasts. Not exactly a million real business idea, yet somehow I survived despite the total malicious energy. Strange, isn't it? Maybe it's just because she's so talented that she's been able to woo the curse. <laughs> I'll be first to admit that there are inconsistencies in this so-called curse. I was just about to ask. She leans forward in her chair to study your face. What do you think? Do you think the curse is real? Time has come to face the source. Fear not, for the forces of the universe are supporting you in the psychic quest. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Inland Empire. Mm, I think it still might be you that's causing this. Uh, I'm st I don't want to say it. That's horrible. See, we can be really, I think the word is, is it pragmatic about it? There's no curse, only business decisions and natural market fluctuations. Honestly, I'm still not sure this place, this world is a puzzling place. Is it now? She squints at you from a desk. I've always thought it's a rather mundane and boring place with no supernatural surprises inside. Well, if you ever find a way to explain all those inconsistencies in the curses, let me know. She turns back to her work. That's all she has ever say. Subject, she's been thorough and through, truthful as far as we can see. How long have I been on? About an hour. Placence is not going to like what you have to tell her. Well, well she's going to have to, mm. you know, look at, look at it from a, as logical as possible. You have to do that tomorrow. That's fine. Why is not a business failed? 8%. I've got close. I've got enough clothes to boost that up, maybe. Uh, all right, let's do that. No, nothing really. I didn't know him. The lieutenant looks at his notebook, then the woman under the large window. Then, uh, your window looks directly into the courtyard. You're saying you didn't see or hear anything unusual last Sunday evening. I'm sorry, detective, but as you know, I. I usually have my headphones on when I'm working. It shuts out most of the daily ruckus behind my window. What do you mean by daily ruckus? You never took your eyes off your work to look at a window? Well, there's always something going on in the worldling's backyard. She stops to try and come up with an example. During daytime, there are usually those kids, and lately I've been seeing a lot of drunk workers hanging out. Must be because of the strike. She's heard of the murder, but did not see it, sire. She looks up at the window, pale light comes in, but I never saw anyone during the fateful Sunday night. That fateful Sunday night, I'm afraid. And you, you never took your eyes off your work to look out the window? I might have, she admits, but in the cases, in this case, all I could have seen would have been my own reflection staring back from the darkness it's light here but dark in the yard at night it's really hard to make anything out in that yard when it's dark outside besides i rarely get up to look out the window when i'm in the zone do you work on sunday nights it's an odd profession making dice for people but i like it and i prefer doing this to sitting at home thank you for your answers she nods all right uh, we might order a dice. We don't bother with that. Let's leave. Don't freeze. Wow, you work hard. I do. Oh yes, you hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. I guess I do. What hard work do I do exactly? Look at yourself. You're a human pedometer. 
you must have walked 200,000 steps down a crack asphalt mosaic sand and linoleum after you re-emerge. Uh, that is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The war is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way and you won't let it break you. You ride. Yeah, I ride a little. I ride till I die. I'm not sure I ride. Yeah, I ride. A little. Let's, let's try to be humble a bit. A little? You make money. You got gills. I make money because I didn't do it officially. You got gills, baby. Got those black peppers with the faces of the innocent on them. You bring in the Franco... Oh, I'm not going to say that. And Solas. I don't... See, this is... this is uh, Some of these writing can get a bit dodged. You got to be careful. I'm sure I might have said a few things that ain't right. It ain't easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules, but you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. That's, uh, that's a good rhyme there. Uh, oh, and then there's pointing stuff off to that suspicious Roy guy. Guess I made some gill, sure. Sure, sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into the cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack? Or shoot someone in the mouth? What? But you still hustle 24-7. Ride or die. Now ask yourself. Are you rich? Mm, yes. Yes, I'm rich. But not in a, <laughs> in a visual capacity. But... Should we lie about this? I'm not. That's right. You work harder than anyone. You almost rode yourself to the grave and you still practically a hobo. Why is that? <laughs> taxes. Why am I so poor? Because of taxes. G-Man's got his jam covered sticky fingers in your pocket. Stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, so much as sneeze. Aren't taxes almost non-existent in Gossamer state that is a rabbit show? I thought there were no taxes. You and I both. But they got those indirect modes of taxation. Oh, this is like... <laughs> I'm sure you've heard conversations like these before. Oh, it's them taxes. Sales tax. Excise duty. <laughs> Extraction tax, this tax, that doesn't even have a name. Plus, there's the stuff people in other countries pay for that makes them ask for more money from you. Here, the Gossamer state's myth, in total of coalitions government is taking. Right, okay. 98% of all your money. Ugh, why, why am I having this conversation, dude? It's only making me into free market type. Are you sure? That seems like a pretty big number. What are you not sure about? They're milking you. <laughs> Do you bleed? Can't you see it? Are you sick and tired of having... Yes, okay. What? We're having conversation about the market trades and that sort of stuff now. Economics. Economics. What is he trying to say? He wants like free market. It's only making me into a free market type. Where are you? What? What? Ultra liberal free market advocate, right? Like, why does he bring that in? Why? I don't like these conversations because it, it really confuses me sometimes. And you'll probably hear the rain outside. Hang on a sec. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn on the lights because it's crazy. It's like late. Not late night, but it is dark in here now. I'll be right back.
All right. Yeah, you can probably hear the rain outside because it's really coming down. Um, I might lose electricity as well. So, we're going to get to the save point. And I think these conversations just serves as a way of building the character and the world. Um, he's just having an internal conversation with himself. Have I lo lost the volume? Uh... Let's just go away. Alright. I guess we've done something. We can't report to her. Because uh, the shop's closed. Wow, it is really coming down. I better save it. Oh, we can get the dice as well. Let's buy a dice. Uh, it's funny because... There's something about it because I had to edit and give myself money. Does it sort of speak to the ideals in this game? Not ideals, but the um, the commentary about capitalism. Oh man, uh, what was it? Um, after the curtain, it's. I just thought that's a bit. Humorous in a way. Hang on. Is there anything in this room? Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's let's get some uh, Let's get some dice, eh? Of course she nods. This is what she's here for. Tell me what you have in mind Uh, tell me about your most extraordinary die. A star that fell from the firmament? The co uh, those cost more than 7 real, are you sure? Uh, what about this? What kind of die do you think fits my personality? I think I have just the right one for you. She opens up the top drawer of the work desk and takes something out. Two polyhedrons, red and blue. I cradled in her palm. Police colors. Because I'm a police officer, right? No, not the most original, I know. She smiles, almost apologizing. But sometimes the obvious choice is obvious because it's the best. Here, catch. She toss you the dice. They're a gift from me. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. No! No. No. I don't have the ability to catch anything. Totally overthinking it. Oh, man. You're overthinking. Your hands can't agree what to do. And the two dice drop to the floor and scatter the opposite direction like pearls from broken string. The blue one disappears down the pit in the center of the room. Ah, down the drain like your career jokes the dice maker. Eyes tracking the remaining po uh, polyhedron. Then she catches your eye. I apologize, officer. That comment was unnecessary. Pick up the red die. That one is made of bloodstone with lapis lazuli inlay. The other one was the inverse. They were a set, you see. But now the set is broken. It's a shame. They might have brought you luck. And you'll definitely need luck in the Martina. She closed her desk drawer. Is she pitying you? Good God, she's pitying you. Now, was there anything else? Dang it! Wait, is there a way of getting it? I don't think there is, right? Messed that up, freaking... That annoys me. Reaction speed, electrochemistry... It's not interfacing, shivers... Suggestion, conceptualization... No, none of these. What is this? That was annoying. I'm reloading that. Not that I'm going to get it anyway. I do this sometimes. Just re-roll. Re 
It's funny because there's dice rolling as well. Like, this is essentially dice rolling, right? This sort of stuff. How meta is that? Is it meta? <laughs> Yeah, so what happens if you let them fall on the ground? I don't, I don't think it's possible. Unless you've got really high... Uh, what is it? What's that? hand-eye co coordination or something like that. Yeah, that one. Because I've got two. Two hand-eye coordination. Reaction speed is terrible as well. Like, is there any point of having two of them? It's pointless, right? You know what? Let's just leave it as that. <laughs> we'll come back to the dice next time. Um, I'll just leave it hanging like that. There was something else in that room that we have to go through. Oh, that was embarrassing. What is this? I'll take that. I need the health pack. This is, oh, this is the ice cream maker. That's it. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has hang cranked ice cream churn on top in an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. Dang it. Pry bar not strong enough. Minus 20. Better grip with gloves. Plus one. 3% low. Entrepreneur. Yeah, okay. Uh, two red one leads to the ice bear fridge, and the black one goes to the ice cream maker. Hmm. Well, this goes outside. Should we be mucking about with this? There's nothing in the ice, the bear one. So we'll just unplug the bear one. So what's that supposed to do? Nothing. Dang, I thought that's gonna help it. It didn't. Okay. No, I don't need any coins. Maybe I can turn off the other one. It won't be frozen. I think it's frozen. No, I screen maker right there. Keep moving. Why did you do that? Uh, don't know why I'm plugged. I just do things without any reason. The lieutenant raises his eyebrows, but didn't say anything. It doesn't say anything. The electric distribution port now is one cable missing. Is that going to do anything? 
Dang it. It's too terrible. So that sort of helped a bit. Hang on a second. Let's put on the right clothes. Um, I don't think any of this is going to help us. I'm, I'm daft. Let's take this off. Because it gave us like negative 20, right? There we go. You slip your fingers under the frozen lid, but the ice is too cold for you to get a good grip. A pry bar would come handy here. What the heck? If you want to try again, then you need to have the pry bar in your hand, detective. I thought it was giving me like negative something, didn't it? Oh no, I misread that. It was giving me plus 20. Right? Mm, mistaken. Not strong enough. That's why it's minus 20. Oh, this blows. Plug it back. We'll come back when we've got better skill sets. I'm trying to hoard all my skill points. Alright. I'm not... I don't think there's anything else. So, I want to try to get that body. Get the boots off the body. And told the Hardy Boys the following day. Yeah, they're not even there. They've left some coins there. See, there's a mysterious door there that I cannot go through. I don't know where it's connected to. Somewhere. Okay. All right, you going? You going to bed, dude? Yes. Dang, he's not going yet. See you in the morning. Yep. See you later, Kim. Bye. All right, now we can sneak out. <laughs> now he, he can't tell us uh, what we shouldn't do. What is still there? Madness. And the body without Kim. man decomposing visibly now every hour he looks less like a creature he looks less like a creature and more like a pile of intestines gross oh no
It doesn't need them, you're probably glad to get rid of them. And it's gonna break something, isn't it? Hmm. Was quite slippery. Step on the corpse. Here we go. It takes some time, but eventually the boots come off. The nasty slices of polymer socks stuck to even bigger pieces of skin and rotting flesh. Gross. Look. Ugh. Take stock of the damage. Alright, we're done. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, cool. Getting the boots. Wash the boots. Oh yeah, we gotta wash our hands as well. Uh, wash off the smell. Alright, let's do this. It's good. We're making progress. Lots of stuff to do. Does he have anything to tell me? Fuck, this cone okay? Yeah. 42%. Guy's a punk. I didn't want to, like, you could actually punch him, but I didn't do it. I just sort of backed up, backed off, which is apparently not a good idea if you want to gain his respect. There must be another way of doing it without punching him. I must have missed it. Um, do we do it here? No. Don't do it in the kitchen, that's disgusting. <laughs> There's something else I need to do without him being present as well. I forgot what it was. I gotta check my quest log. Wait, I want to wash my... The water is only lukewarm, but still comforting, like amniotic fluid. A few beer cans are bobbing up and down along your flanks like sad duckies. You feel nice and lonely, and so, so tired. Take the beer cans out. Now you're alone with your thoughts in the tub. But it's easier than being alone with your thoughts outside the tub. Imagine something. You see the corpse. You can still smell the cadaver on you. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Then houses along this narrow street. A video rental. Darkness on the planet's curvature. Linger in the bath. Uh, in the tub a little. Your fingers grow pale and are covered with tiny whorls as the water cools. What are you doing? You're gonna. You're not some fat fish in an aquarium. Time to get moving. Imagine something. Alright, let's just repeat. Conclude. The water line recedes as you stand. You're cold now. Your clothes stick to your uh, to your still moist skin. Um how do I I need to wash? Wait, what? Did I? Have I already cleaned the boots as well? Huh? Wait. Oh, there we go. Hmm. 
No, what? I'm confused. Hang on. Go get the firearm. There is a lot of stuff. Hang on. Wash boots in a kitchen somewhere. Why can't we just wash it in here? We just... <sighs> Sorry, I'm just getting a bit... Getting a bit, uh... Annoyed. In the kitchen. I thought I read that wrong. Whose kitchen? Wait, wait. Do I have a kitchen? No, I don't. Like, you can't wash it in here, can you? Like, there's a kitchen right here, but... You can't interact with it. Hmm. Check out the cleaning supplies. It's bad with those boots. Let me send you now. Soap, this is when the boots are really disgusting. Pour some dish soap and a bottle of white vinegar into the pot. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not gonna read all this out. Mmm. Add water and the boots to the pot. Bring it to boil. Nice boil. Gross. Eventually people are going to use that to make food as well. Disgusting. Strong smell of vinegar forces you to step over and pot. The water slowly comes to boil. Wait. Strips of polymer fabric, human tissue separated from lining of the boots. They float the bubbling surface. Wait some more. The boots look cleaner now. And cleaner. The books look cleaner and cleaner. Those bits of human flesh are beginning to look cooked. You can smell it too. <laughs> Just like beef stew. Oh, a little more. That's it, ch chef. The boots are as clean as they're going to get. Steam dense with smell of strange meat disappears in a vent above the stove. Dump the sock and flesh to stew and examine your new boots. Pair of real beauties. The boots are shiny, hot and reek of vinegar. Just perfect. Master Chef out. Gross. Uh... Okay. But we did. We found it. Alright, so that's that's sorted. Uh we can't do that yet. Hardy boys not around. Can't do that. Can't do that yet. Or oh, maybe we can. Hmm. Oh, right, we can do that one. Alright, let's keep... I think I'm gonna finish up here. I mean, let's just talk to Clayes. And then I'll finish up the stream. Uh, and then I might, I might load up and play something else. Less intensive. Um, oh, hang on. Got the boots, yeah. There it is. Authority. Composure. Interesting. Let's put something a bit more. Capable.
What am I wearing? Get rid of that. Do I want authority in this case? Composure. We might do that when we talk to the Hardy Boys and go, You got the boots? They're gonna say that. I wonder if she'll be awake. Hey, hang on. Get back in there. No, 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 no. Get back. Actually, it might be a bit dinner time. Oh, she's not here. How are we going to do this? Like she's asleep. Where is she? What the heck? Where did she go? Hmm. You here? Excuse me. What the? I don't know where she went. How are we supposed to do that when she's not around? Or maybe it's way too late. When Kim's not around to stop you, ask Clayes. Clay. Clay. About what she heard from her room the night before she emerged into... Before you emerged in reality, she must know uh, something. But I don't know where she is. If she's asleep... You know, I've spent over... It must be over 30 hours in this area now. The Martinez waterfront. Haven't even gone to the fisherman shacks or the church yet. 30 hours and I... Barely did any main quest. Uh, yeah, sort of. Mm. Net. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Trash. Oh, you need legendary. Uh. Yeah, I don't know where she is. Where is she? <laughs> I have no idea where she's gone to. Look at it. It's it, it's the next day, but it's still classified as day two. Funny that. Lower morale puts some points in volition. Oh look, the store's completely closed. But he's around. Can I help you? Yeah, all right. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't want to review about what she's done. Because she's trying to not get in trouble. She purposely nicked the cable line to disguise a voice when she's making a phone call. It, are those coins or just clues? Yeah, it's coins. What? I just took them. Oh, no, I didn't. There are no clues around here. Dang, I don't know where she is. Maybe it's way too late. Can I see her from the, the roof? Yeah, she's not there. He's still there. I 
So I don't think there's anything else I can do in that other room. I mean, I guess I could, yeah, get the character to bed. I'll, I'll put him in a room and then that's it. I'm going to call it quits for this, uh, for this session. And I might come back right afterward to play something else very short or not. Uh, we shall see. Um... Yeah. Don't know, I don't know what I was going to say, but... Oh yeah, I've got a door that I can't go through as well. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. 3%. Use your chain cutter to fix the faucet. Alright. You can do that. One of it makes a difference left or right. 17%. Madness. Hang on. I don't think that's going to make a difference. 28%. That's crazy. No, let's just leave it. I've been so stingy with my uh, uh, skill points. I'm not progressing. That's that's not a problem as well. All right. Um. End of day two before bed. All right. That's it. Um, yeah. I might be back later on. We shall see. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Thank you, Headcase, Cosnav, uh, Suspense Nasty. Um, yeah, anyone that's lurking, thank you. Uh, anyone that's watching this on the archives, I appreciate it. I hope you'll have a good day or night. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.